30 years is a long time for just about anything. And it's especially impressive to know that Walker's Point Center for the Arts is celebrating 30 years here in the neighborhood with a new exhibition featuring prominent artists from their past history. Let's go check it out. We're here with Chela Garcia, the Executive Director of Walker's Point Center for the Arts, who is also an artist in her own right. And she's here to tell us about WPCA's 30th Anniversary Group Exhibition. But before we get into that, um, tell us a bit about Walker's Point Center for the Arts. Sure, so Walker's Point Center for the Arts was founded in 1987, and we were a space that was thought of as a way to connect artists and community. So for 30 years we've actually been in the Walker's Point neighborhood, which I think is a phenomenal contribution, you know, to the um, neighborhood here in Milwaukee. And you know, we provide quality art experiences for children from six to adults to 106. So um, it's always great to you know come to work because we're always envisioning of ways to connect, you know, the community to exciting art experiences. Absolutely, and it's so impressive, especially with the sort of longevity, you know, 30 years being in Walker's Point, and, uh, and it's been in you know, different locations before, it was up on like 9th and National, and now uh, it's been for several years in this beautiful location on 5th Street, and with that much history to sort through, um, what was it like putting together this exhibition, going back through 30 years of artists and their artworks? So I think that um, you know me coming aboard as the new leader here was perfect timing for the 30th anniversary um, because obviously there's a lot of organizational knowledge that I really needed to catch up with. Um, I think that the mission of it already resonated with me. So the fact that I actually came to programs growing up here um, and now kind of seeing the the you know the behind the scenes of how things get you know put together in the exhibits and how much work and thought really goes behind this. So every piece here represents, I think, a very thoughtful um, moment um, and expression that we really wanted to convey with everyone. Because for 30 years, um, you know, an organization to be relevant in any community, I think that really resonates with a lot of the. Um, need that this organization is meeting, you know, um, for the community. So I was very lucky to have that opportunity to not only learn about the artists that have made, you know, significant contributions to this organization and the arts community in Milwaukee, but ultimately get to see it and really get a feel and touch for it. So, um, you know, all of the pieces here are very intentional in why they are on this wall. Um, and I think it portrays a story from everything from, you know, very established artists to emerging artists. And really, you know, one of our big tenants is making sure that, you know, art experiences and shows are accessible, you know, to, to all people regardless, you know, of socioeconomic and, you know, um, situations. So with that in mind, I think that, you know, the 30 artists that were selected for this um, show really do represent, you know, the different focal points that the organization had. So everything from the first exhibiting artist to one of our first arts educators to even, you know, fast forward 30 years, uh, one of our interns that's majoring in photography and is currently a sophomore at UWM. Um, so I think that for any organization, I think that being able to provide that um, platform for, for talent is um, fundamental. I think that with our arts programming, being able to nurture that next generation of artists is incredibly important. Um, but obviously, we, would, we could not have done this without you know the support of artists that have been with us for 30 years. So it doesn't just extend to artists, but I think the broader community really. Absolutely, and one of the things about this show, which you know spreads through the two gallery spaces, the hallways is that there's a tremendous array of artists who, as you said, are new, but then also some very well-known and well-established artists who've been integral to the history of WPCA, which is really impressive. And as viewers come in and they see the show and they experience the space, what, are, what do you hope that they take away with them? Um, I think to me it's really important that they realize that the physical space of 
having like a sanctuary where you know creative people come together and appreciate the art and the meaning behind it you know a lot of these pieces have very political statements a lot of them are more about the aesthetics they're telling stories that are significant you know to artists that speak about a struggle um, so considering you know the the political backdrop that you know arts is really undergoing right now I think that it's important to really look at you know the contributions and then the long-standing careers that folks have been able to make and the importance it is and really the duty that it is for us as community members to ensure that we can provide those same avenues of support you know for the emerging generations oh very wonderfully said Thank you. and again it's that sort of you know community involvement and the longevity it's very impressive so congratulations thank you. and Shella, thank you again thank you thank you for telling us about walkers point center for the arts 30th anniversary group exhibition and thank you for joining us here on shepherd express visual arts <laughs>